Hi, welcome everybody to Vlogger John. We're gonna start fishing as early as like five o'clock in the morning. We are here for trout fishing, so stay tuned. So guys, it's a very early morning. We are going to catch some trout and it's the best time. So basically I'm using spoon and some spinners. And there's a lot of people saying like, hey, you are showing all these water bodies to everybody. So, you know, this place will be crowded with the people, stuff like that. We got a fish here. Like I don't understand. You know, you go and fish everywhere. And you take a video of your fishing, uh, fishing trip. And if somebody is very interested in going and fishing in that area, I don't see anything wrong with that. That's a beautiful fish there. Like from this video you can see like where I'm fishing basically if you know where I'm from I have no problem you finding out where I'm fishing I'm not that jealous I'm not that possessive I'm not that you know it's not my property it's a public place here is another bite They are biting so good today. So I'm losing a, a 10 pound monofilament invisible line. That's what it says. and Shimano Canadian Edition fishing rod and reel. So what I was trying to say like, you know, you go fish somewhere, you take a video of those fishing spot. I'm not going to tell you which lake I'm fishing. I'm not going to tell you, you know, what is that hot spot I caught that fish from. If you are that that keen to find out where I'm fishing and what is that spot, then you are very much interested in fishing. And I don't I don't see anything wrong with you go and fish the same spot. Anyways where I'm living in Alberta is overcrowded like wherever you go so 
so what i was trying to say like uh, i traveled almost 575 kilometers hiked 20 kilometers went into this lake there was kids and family and dogs and everything and i wasn't able to fish there people come follow you kids are right behind your fishing rod but i was in you know i wasn't sad you know i wasn't mad it happens A lot of times people get mad or they they start using profanity just because you know you fish in an area where they think like it's sacred Like a few years ago, maybe five years ago, I have seen people very helpful. They are not afraid to tell where they caught the fish from. Nowadays, it's it's very complicated, guys. People are very jealous of others fishing, and they are they they act like a fish corpse. And they're there to actually criticize all your fishing skills and uh, you know, you're not supposed to be doing this. They wouldn't say anything good about you, but uh, they will be there if you do something wrong. Hi. Good, you? I got like a dozen fish. Oh, okay. I, I didn't keep any though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it a dozen? Yeah. Oh, wow. good. Yeah, it's a good day. How, uh, how big? Oh, uh, they're like a 12 to. Can I just open it for me? Then I won't yeah. have to touch it. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, 12 to 14. Yeah. It's the first day, so. Yeah. That's a nice day for it. It's yeah. actually kind of quiet here, quieter than I thought. Oh, it rained already. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it was windy, but catching fish, so as long as you catch fish, you fun, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. I don't want anybody spoon feeding others. I don't want anybody telling all the details of the fishing spot. But they can at least, you know, give you the techniques and, uh, you know, at least the lake name, at least the province. Some people don't even say that. So guys, Fishing is a fun thing. Don't take it very serious. Don't take it to your home. Don't don't worry too much about it. It's just fish. Be careful with the handling the fish, you know. Follow the regulation, but don't get into a fight for a fish. That's it. <laughs>